We are called ECOs, Emergency Communications Operators. The primary role of someone who works in this room is to serve the citizenry with whatever needs they may have, whatever safety concerns they may have, while at the same time ensuring officer and firefighter safety at every turn. My name is Becky Bosker and I have been a dispatcher with the City of Grand Rapids for just about nine years. My name is Joe Quist and I've been a dispatcher with Grand Rapids for five years. My name is Sarah DeBoe. I've been a dispatcher with the City of Grand Rapids for just over two years. My name is Brandon Potts. I've been a dispatcher with the City of Grand Rapids for 13 years. We are uh, in the communication center of the Grand Rapids Police Department up on the fourth floor. We uh, answer phones on all of these banks right here. And then on the farther end of the room, we've got the uh, police and fire radio dispatching end of the room. The way that the department generally operates is we have 12 hour shifts and we have two different shifts day and night and then two different rotations of those shifts. And uh, at any given time we have around nine or ten uh, dispatchers in the center. Some answering phone calls, some doing background checks, some dispatching police or firefighters. I knew I wanted to be in law enforcement in some way and out of college I kind of applied and I grew to really like it. I like love my coworkers, I love coming to work, and I just really enjoy like being a part of things. I'm helping my officers, I'm helping the citizens, I'm helping visitors that come into the city that are lost and get in an accident. It really is a calling, and you just really take pride in all that every night, and you can see it on this floor. When things get crazy, everybody jumps in, everybody's got your back. Every day I try and just do one thing good for someone that I think that I could have done better than the person next to me or the person next to them. Just, if I can do one good thing, no matter how much bad things happen, that I'm happy. 911 emergency. All right, we do have a, we, it's okay, take a deep breath for me. Okay, we do have a call with some officers to come take a report. 911 is genuinely for emergencies. First and foremost, we need to know the location. You call 911 and a call taker answers the call. The first thing they'll want to know is where you are. And then they'll determine if it's a police request or fire request. After establishing the location based on whatever your emergency is, they'll enter a call. It gets sent to a police or fire dispatcher and then um, the calls are dispatched to the first responders. Smart 911 is this really neat um, free program that if you go online, uh, you can have it registered to your cell phone. So when you dial 911, my screen is automatically prompted with all the information that you want to give me. Your home address, what your house looks like, what type of car you drive, how many dogs you have, what their names are, whether or not they're nice. And a lot of people don't think about that. I really have liked being able to participate in the community in this way. I'm from Grand Rapids, I moved back to Grand Rapids, and I like, I don't know, seeing firsthand that the services provided are, in my opinion, the best of the best, the best in the area. And I like being able to be like a part of that greater machine that's sort of helping keep things moving. Most rewarding thing that's happened to me, career as a dispatcher. Uh, it, it all starts to blend together over the years. You know, I mean, there's probably someone that has thanked me for sending them help, stayed on the line with someone who was with a suicidal friend or family member and kept them calm until people got there. Um, it, it's kind of hard to, to pinpoint one thing. Anytime um, you take a call from a child who's frightened or upset because of something that's going on, whether it's parents or someone fighting or something scary or violent taking place. Anytime that you can play a role in, in making that child feel safe and connect with them and make them truly understand as best you can that help is on the way and will be there very soon, that's always satisfying to a great degree. Every night uh, is that my officers and firefighters and paramedics go home safely, knowing that they go home safely. That's that's first and foremost, and that throughout the challenging phone calls and sometimes the, the yelling and the berating we take, um, you can't take it personally. You know that usually every night you're gonna help somebody. And if I can walk away knowing I can help somebody, even just one person in a 12-hour shift, I've done my job.